Noja Power's range of OSM reclosers are suitable for a wide range of installation situations. This video will demonstrate a simple installation method without a bypass switch or disconnectors. Before installing the recloser, check the installation section of the user manual to familiarize yourself with the procedure. The OSM recloser is mounted to the pole using the supplied mounting bracket. This bracket is supplied bolted to the recloser. For a wooden pole, drill two 20mm holes through the pole, 280mm apart. Slide two bolts through the holes and place the washers and nuts on loosely. Fit the VT bracket to the pole if required. Mount surge arresters to the tank while it's on the ground. Lift the recloser up onto the pole using the lifting points on the tank. Slide the bracket over the bolts and tighten the nuts to secure. For a concrete pole, the recloser can be fixed with a single bolt through the top hole in the bracket and a metal strap on the lower part of the bracket. C-clamps can also be used. Lift the VT onto the bracket using a soft sling and secure with nuts and bolts. The RC10 controller can be bolted to the pole or secured with metal straps. If installed at ground level, it can be lifted on manually. Lifting holes are located on the top bracket if installed higher up the pole. The control cable is plugged into the tank and secured by lifting the latch until it clicks into place over the pins. Both sides must be over the pins or the cable will not be sealed against water entry. Fix the control cable to the pole using saddles at regular intervals. Slide the connector through the entry hole. Secure the vandal proof gland using four wing nuts. Connect the control cable to the SIM module. Position the key and lock the nut by turning it clockwise until it snaps into place. Lightning strikes in power lines are common. They can generate large impulses which travel along the conductors. Surge arresters should be fitted to both sides of the recloser to protect against impulses from either direction when in the closed or open position. Surge arresters can be bolted directly to the tank, so the surge current is diverted to the ground through the tank. No separate earthing is required in this case. Surge arresters with standoff brackets can be mounted directly onto the RST side of the tank. On the ABC side, they'll need to be mounted onto a separate cross arm. An earth conductor should be run from the surge arresters to the main earth. Incorrectly installed standoff brackets can reduce phase to ground clearances. The surge arresters should be connected close to the recloser terminals. Connect to the cable tail with a parallel groove clamp when using tunnel connectors. Use a crimp lug under the bolt when using palm connectors. Good earthing is required for operator safety and to protect the recloser from damage. Noja Power specifies a 35mm squared copper conductor for the earthing material. Crimped lugs should be used and connections to the tank, VT and cubicle must be to the marked earth points. Connect the VT earth to the main earth cable using a short length of 35mm square cable and a line tap. Secure the cable down the pole. In areas with a high risk of vandalism or theft, the conductor can be run inside the pole or through external protection such as a metal pipe. Connect the control cubicle to the main earth using a short length of 35mm square cable and a line tap. Resistance to earth must be maintained within your local regulations for the installation of this type of equipment.
the earthing conductor must be unbroken from the recloser to the earthing point at the base of the pole. Noja Power recommends that all high voltage connections are done using insulated high voltage cables and bird guards. This will protect the tank from short circuits caused by animals and will make it easier to keep acceptable clearances in the installation. Connection of the cables to the recloser terminals depends on the type of termination supplied with the recloser. The tunnel connector is suitable for aluminium or copper cables from 40 to 260 mm square. An 8 mm Allen key tool is used to tighten the connector up to 30 newton meters. The palm connectors can be supplied with threaded or non-threaded holes. They're intended to be used with appropriate crimp lug connections. Connect the VT using insulated cable tails as well. Fit bird guards to all connections. Noja Power can supply bird guards to fit both recloser connection types and the VT as an optional accessory. Low voltage AC supply is connected to the circuit breaker behind the lower escutcheon panel. The RC10 can accept either 110 or 220 volts AC. The voltage selection must be made with the circuit breaker in the off position. AC can be sourced from a dedicated voltage transformer or a low voltage line. Noja Power supplied VTs are fitted with a 2 ampere fuse in the secondary wiring. This prevents overheating of the secondary side if a short circuit occurs in the wiring down to the RC10. The secondary wiring from VT to RC10 should be between 1.5 and 2.5 mm square of double insulated wire. Thread the cables through the gland and secure so it's weatherproof. Terminate the connections to the VT with proper sized lugs. Fit and secure the cover, making sure the gasket is in place. It's recommended to have external protection for the cable. Secure the cable to the pole at regular intervals. A double pole insulation point is recommended so the RC10 can be isolated from the low voltage supply. The low voltage supply must be brought into the cubicle through the hole directly underneath the circuit breaker. Use a cable gland to seal against water, dust, small animals and insects. Connect the cable to the earth terminal and circuit breaker. Fitting an external low voltage surge arrester is strongly recommended. All cables taken into the RC10 must be sealed and secured with glands to maintain the IP rating of the cubicle. If low voltage supply is available, measure the incoming voltage to confirm the VT is supplying the correct voltage to the RC10. Refit the lower escutcheon plate when cabling is completed. The installation should be checked before final commissioning. Check that all of the high voltage connections have been tightened. Inspect the earth wiring and confirm it's been connected as specified in the user manual. Inspect the low voltage wiring is complete and connected safely. Check the low voltage supply is on. If possible, conduct some manual trip and close operations from the panel to confirm operation. If the feeder is energized, check that the voltage and current readings on the panel are correct. Connect to the RC10 with the CMS software package and load settings as required. Conduct any other commissioning tests as specified by local regulations and requirements. Noja Power's OSM reclosers are easy to install and will give reliable operation throughout their lifetime. You can find more information about our range of products at www.nojapower.com or by contacting your local Noja Power distributor.